I'm asking questions. Your answer. Reach the end of the story in your own way. breath won't help. I got this, March. Uh, someone's got their head stuck in the sand, or the snow in this case. They just need a helping hand. Ouch! My fine fellow, was that really necessary? He's crawling around in the snow a crime these days. I mean, come on, surely. It doesn't warrant a spearing. But then again, how can I blame you? I mean, I caught you off guard. If it had to happen, you could even say I deserved it, huh? Besides, I made a gallant group of new friends as a result. <laughs> Uh, is Captain Jepard around? Uh, he, he's an old buddy of mine. Who? Wait, you're not Silvermane Guards? Well, why didn't you say so? Turns out we're on the same side after all. Pleasure to meet you. The name's Sampo Koski. Excellent, I'll remember the name. Never thought I'd run into friends from the same line of- Say, why don't we join forces? I have reliable. Come now, friends. I can understand the mistrust, but there's no need for the charade. Then again, I know the rules. Anyway, a meeting like this has to have been written in the stars. Ask me anything you like. I won't skimp on the details. Still make it snappy. You're never more than 10 feet from a silver main guard. Settlement? What a literary turn of phrase. Why, there's only one place in this world where the living still reside. Our beloved Bellabog. The further away you get, the dicier things become. The city of preservation, the towering citadel, humanity's last bastion against the eternal freeze. It may sound a bit over the top, but those names are grounded in truth. The only place humans can eke out an existence is behind those impregnable walls. Me? You guys scared me to death. There I was, looking for relics to sell, when all of a sudden you came stomping over. I thought the Silvermane guards were paying me a visit. Seriously, though? Try treading a little lighter next time, huh? If you run into the guards, they won't hide in a snowdrift, and you'll be in a cell before you know it. You really don't know? The Silvermane Guards are Bellabog soldiers, enforcers, and police. Let's just say they're not the most flexible of people. And they like paying visits to folks in our line of work. Seems like you guys really are new to the business. <laughs> to be young and naive again. How about this? As a senior in the field, which I'm sure you don't mind me saying, I'll give you some free guidance. There are ways of doing things in this profession, and you better get familiar with them. Moving in the shadows, finding the goods, pricing your stock, hiding from the guards. There's an art to all of it. No need. Why don't you just take us to the city? We don't really know the way. The city? Already? They haven't even started trading yet. Well, showing you the way is... Would be my pleasure. Kindness is Sampo Koski's middle name. Follow me, friends, and uh, keep quiet. 
We don't want to be spotted by the guards. So why were you hiding from the Silver Mane guards? Yeah, we're just storing a few relics away from prying eyes. Nothing serious. If it weren't for the uncompromising nature of our civil service, yeah. there'd be no need for secrets. So where about you guys from, anyway? I don't mean to pry or anything. I just care about my friends. No pressure. Rule number seven, never leave a footprint. I have my own special technique called invisible snow walking. Helps me throw off pursuers in no, no time. Who are they? Uh, you remember the Silvermane guards I mentioned? That's them. Help me, old friends. I don't want to be caught. It's the suspect and his accomplices. It's Hi, now friends. or never. Over to you, dear I friend. I need to be broken. Hey, where do you think you're... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Answers. Test. Depart Landau, captain of the Silver Mane Guards, order you to relinquish your futile resistance. Wait, hands on him. Relinquish your resistance. So I'm a crystal, huh? Forget Shampo. Wait until I get my hands on you. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! Zero points. Next. Rules are made to be broken. Fail. Get out. We're in trouble now. Evil must be gone. I'm asking the question. You have the worst luck running steam right there while I give you a present. Let's make it quick. Better up. And the prime suspect? Apologies, Captain. We lost him during the pursuit. <sighs> no matter. We have his accomplices. Yeah, we'd never team up with someone like him. I'm not trying to talk our way out. We rescued him from the snow out of the kindness of our hearts. We had no idea he might be using us to get past you. I'm a captain, not an adjudication panel. As I take them away. Photos. Ah, oh, you're a genius! Great idea! You've probably never seen what your planet looks like, right? I took this one! Behold! Yarilo 6! <laughs> you mean to say that this... white ball? 
that's here? <laughs> that's our home? How... Hmm. It is said that a long time ago, strange... But these... This decision is beyond us. If what they say is true, then only... Our job is to present them before outsiders. Follow me. Bellabog lies beyond this blizzard. Welcome to Bellabog. This... That's because you're in Bellabog, the la last bastion. <laughs> Seven hundred years ago, monsters from beyond the sky set the world ablaze. The land was turned to scorched earth, with raging inferno in the midst of the conflict. The eternal, f the steadfast architects built. He sure sang some marked change in tone. Uh huh. You wanted to know. We saw strange creatures outside the city. They must have come from a Terran corroded space. A fragmentum, correct? How do you... That's right. Out there in the blizzard, there are still many threats, including the... Monsters you saw. The Silver Main Guards are continuously engaged. With the enemy. I'm afraid the situation is bleak. your meeting with the Supreme Guard. consult you on this matter.
we are lacking in intel. We're here. This is Klepoth Fort, the heart of Belabog and headquarters of the Architects. The saviors of humanity. Long before the arrival of the Eternal Freeze, the Architects braved the doubts and derision of the people, never wavering from their construction of its defenses. History has proven that their decision was the correct one. The Architects named this fortress after Klepoth, Eon of Preservation. Under their direction, humanity has withstood external enemy attacks and held off. This fortress is also the residence of the Supreme Guardian. The Supreme Guardian? The leader of Belabog, elected and appointed by the Architects. The Supreme Guardians have watched over this city for generations. Sheltering the current Guardian is Madame Kakolia Rand. Every major strategic decision is issued by her. Whoa, she sounds like a big deal. I will now bring you to see Madame Kakolia. Please, have your words at the ready. Her time is precious, so she prefers concise communication. Uh, we're gonna see her right now? Can I at least find a place to freshen up first? Let's not waste time. No one will notice. I've dispatched a messenger to send word. But that's a meaningless sacrifice. How can you... <clears throat> you may leave, Branya. Visitors have arrived. <sighs> yes, Mother. Madam Guardian, I have brought three outsiders to see you. The messenger informed me. Well done, Jacquard. You may leave. Welcome, visitors from beyond the Eternal Freeze. Or perhaps I should say, from beyond the sky, no? <laughs> I am Kakolia. Do you wish me to doubt it? Or perhaps you're not confident in that identity yourself? <laughs> no, I do not doubt it. I can see that you are not from this world. The Architects remember the history well, else we should forget it. I know that in the distant past, before the Eternal Freeze descended or the Legion invaded, this world was once prosperous beyond measure. An eon connected our planet to other worlds, and we discovered the endless possibilities of the boundless universe. We also came to know of Klepoth, the Amber Lord. Under their attentive gaze, we built the city walls. So do not be surprised. For 700 years, the Architects have received no further communication from the stars. But I knew of your existence. Tell me why you have come. We came here for something known as a Stellaron. A Stellaron? 
objects that fell from the blue on separate worlds. Their appearance spelled disaster. Many of the planets we visited have suffered their effects. You mentioned invasion by the Antimatter Legion. Soon after their arrival, this planet suffered the Eternal Freeze. At the same time, the phenomenon known as Fragmentum Space Corrosion began to occur. Correct? Correct. Stellarons bring about different disasters on different worlds, but every world seeded with a Stellaron will give birth to Fragmentums. You can see us as... kind-hearted, interstellar public servants, lending a helping hand to any world affected by a Stellaron. <clears throat> Your analysis of our current circumstances is clear. We have indeed suffered the disasters you speak of. Some of which prove vexatious to us even today. But why should you care? Even if this Stellaron you speak of did bring about disaster, I fail to see its connection to you. I don't believe that anyone would go to such lengths to help a world unrelated to them. Unless they had something to gain. You're right. Our reason for coming here is not purely selfless. If we don't seal... Yeah, FYI. You know how to seal the Stellaron. We have the relevant means. Very well, I believe you. If our present situation is truly the result of this so-called Stellaron... It's getting late, and you must be tired. I will arrange for you to stay in our most comfortable hotel. Rest there and get a good night's sleep. Tomorrow at noon, I will dispatch someone to escort you here. And we can discuss this urgent matter in greater detail. It should be me thanking you, visitors from beyond the sky. I too need some time. I will go over our records for anything that may be connected to Stellarons. Please excuse me for not escorting you further. Of course, I understand. Do not worry. I have a way. It seems that the Supreme Guardian holds you in high regard. I have received orders that your movements are no longer to be restricted. You know, I didn't think things were gonna go that smoothly. <laughs> I'm afraid I still have duties to attend to. I must return to my post. I hope you enjoy your stay in Bellabar. Uh, wait! Can you recommend some sites? It's not that late. We want to take a look around. Well, I'd say that Golden Theater and the History Museum are both worth a look. However, you'd need a pass to get into the museum. I recommend you visit Everwinter Monument first. It's Bellabog's most symbolic landmark. And if you enjoy music, you could head to Neverwinter Workshop. You can sometimes catch an outdoor performance there. The artist is... <sighs> You'll see. Oh, and if you're staying at Goethe Hotel, please avoid the alley that runs next to it. The one with Silvermane Guard stationed there. It's started to be affected by corrosion recently, so it's been sealed off. So the corrosion is inside the city. Well, that's a grave situation. Yes, we're mounting a resistance as we speak. I must leave now. I hope all goes well for you. Look at the carved ice! 
feels perfect for this city somehow. Whatever it's made of, it can't be ice. I guess you're right. It's actually pretty warm in the city. Uh, hey, what's with all the children over there? Should we go and take a look? Never Winter Workshop. Hey, didn't Jappard say there'd be a show? He said you can sometimes catch an outdoor performance. Sometimes being the operative word. Oh, darn. Oh, I've been wondering. You see that heater over there? Why do they keep it outdoors? This city is so weird. Normally you'd want a heater inside a building, right? Maybe, but the ones outside just seem like a waste of energy. Oh, uh, maybe this is how the architects repel the eternal freeze. Tiny heaters are no use against the Stellaron disaster. <laughs> you guys sure have a lot to say about that broken heater. Oh, wow, she's cool. Hi there. The name's Serval. I'm the owner of this workshop. If you got any broken equipment lying around, you can always come find me, though I can't guarantee I'll be interested in fixing it. Oh, uh, we're okay. I was just curious about the heater. Curious? About the heater? It's just a standard Geomero radiator. You can find them anywhere in the administrative district. Only just got here? Figured it out. I heard a loudmouth guard say that a group of outsiders had met with Cocolia. You must be them? What an honor. Where are my manners? We can talk about heaters all day if you like. Let's have a chat. The heater you saw is just a standard Geomero radiator. They may not look like much, but they're a real lifeline to the people. The blizzards here are brutal. If we didn't have a reliable way of keeping warm, Bellabog would long since have become a dead city, both above and below the surface. Isn't it just like cooking food over an open flame? If the house is a pot, then the heater is the stove it rests on. When she puts it like that, it actually starts to make sense. It's an ore, a special energy resource. Whether it's keeping the city warm or keeping our counters ticking, everything runs on Geomero. Geomero grows beneath the surface of the planet and specialist underworld mining teams are there to extract it. Transport lines shuttle it up to the surface. In the overworld, we use the same lines to ship surface goods and aid down to the underworld. You didn't know? Bellabog is structured like two big connected disks. The overworld is responsible for administration and trade, while the underworld is responsible for energy supply and resource extraction. However, due to an order that was given many years ago, nobody has moved between the overworld and the underworld in a long time. Ah, I shouldn't be talking about this. Pretend I never said anything. No sweat. This is your first time in Bellabog. I just want you to feel some of the warmth the city has to offer. Hey, seeing as there's nothing on your plate just now, want to help me fix up this machine? Just a bit of manual labor. You might find it interesting. 
Great. Then let me give you a demonstration first. Nice. You guys are pretty handy. You pick that up in no time. <laughs> well, I'd better carry on here. that Jepard mentioned. The one contaminated by the Fragmentum, right? I can't believe how close it is to the city center. They hadn't identified it. I bet all the shops and hotels in the vicinity would have had to close down by now. Move back! This is your final warning! But... But my proof of property is inside! I don't have any... The Fragmentum has already corroded this block. You can make a property retrieval request to the Architects, but only Silvermane Guards are permitted to enter here. I can't believe Fragmentum Corrosion has spread into the city. No wonder there are so many soldiers stationed there. No. As long as the Stellaron is active, the Corrosion will continue to spread. The soldiers can only periodically clear the Fragmentum of Monsters but the monsters will continue to emerge and multiply. Please try to understand, sir. Backwater Pass has become very dangerous. We're just here for your safety. If I can't get my proof of property, it doesn't matter how safe I am. Out of my way! Let me pass! <sighs> mattresses and cushiony pillows tonight. Wanna have a pillow fight later? Huh? Huh? I bet they're stuffed with goose feathers. <laughs> March. Earlier in Klepoth Fort. Stop, I know what you're gonna say. March, you said too much back there. March, you shouldn't reveal our goal to people we don't trust. Meanwhile, you guys were beating around the bush and speaking in riddles. But check it out! Seems like we landed with a pretty sweet deal, right? We get the royal treatment, rooms in a beautiful hotel, and the full support of the locals. As far as trailblazing goes, this is smooth as heck. That's... not what I was going to say. Alright, spit it out then. Earlier in Klepoth Fort... <sighs> Were you paying attention to the Supreme Guardian? Uh, yeah, of course. This isn't my first expedition, you know. My powers of perception are sharper than the sharpest blade. Nope, she seemed normal to me. She was kinda harsh at first, but she turned out to be a nice, reasonable lady. Although... It felt like she was looking through me. As in, I know she was speaking to us, but it seemed like her gaze was fixed on something far away. Hmm, I had a similar feeling. Almost as if we weren't the only people in the room. Uh, do you have to put it like that? That's scary. he'd get past Don Hung's sharp eyes. Uh, perhaps I'm too sensitive. She did promise to help us. I just hope she keeps her word. Mm. Let's get some rest. We need to save our energy for the discussions tomorrow.
Is there anything left to do? We're meeting the Guardian tomorrow. There won't be any time for sightseeing. It was a long day today. All I need is a hot shower and a good night's sleep. Yeah, about time! Let's get to bed early and save our energy. I sense the next few days could be tiring. Well, I'm off to my room then. Express lights off! Did you hear that? There's a group of Silvermane guards at the entrance, and I don't think they're here to say hi. Uh, if this is our escort, it's less friendly than I was expecting. I guess we'll have to find out. Let's go and meet them. We won't know until we're down there. Hey, Commander Branya is waiting for you all down below. Hurry up and go see her. And no tricks. Are we in a lot of trouble? Rand, acting commander of the Silvermane Guards. In the name of the Amber Lord in the Highest, and under order of Supreme Guardian Kokolia Rand, I hereby arrest the suspected infiltrators under the charge of plotting to incite rebellion. As agent of the Supreme Guardian, I herewith temporarily strip you of your freedom of action and speech. When you are tried by the adjudication panel, you will be given the opportunity to defend yourselves against the accusations. Resistance will prove futile. Uh, wait a minute! This isn't what we agreed! She said we were gonna be escorted to discuss an urgent matter! This is an orchestrated betrayal, obviously. Looks like we've been downgraded to accomplices. Again. It seems like it's every third planet this happens. That's because you always act without thinking. You never have a plan. Hey, I'm improving! I'm, uh, coming up with a plan right now! And... Got one! Dunham, the alley! The one that's been sealed off? Hmm, it's possible. March. Be ready to make an escape. Huh? Really? I just wanted to say something. Three of a kind? It's an old Astral Express escape signal. Do you play cards? Two pair? Hey, what are you whispering? Let's get going. Ace!
they charged straight in? Escaping into a fragmentum. I don't know if they're overconfident or just eager for death. It would seem that Mother's judgment was correct. Should we report them as missing or deceased? <sighs> the Supreme Guardian's order was to arrest them. We cannot abandon our pursuit just because they fled into a sealed-off area. I must ascertain their fate with my own eyes. Y yes ma'am. Eradicate all threats to Bellabox security. That is what I must do. By surprise. Nothing more. They'll be in person. Mm. Hm. So, what happened back there? Why did the Supreme Guardian send people to. <laughs> Seize the moment! running into me with me out here how can we lose let's go batter up uh. that's it try that again be almost be gone are always welcome. All the best! Rules are made to be broken. A thousand wonders to raise your spirits! Good omens! Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music. Conquer us all! Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! Reach the end of the story in your own way. Seize the moment! Chill out! This song's just for you. <laughs> Stay right there while I give you a present!
Uh, it doesn't seem like there's any way to open this gate. Ooh, check this mechanism out! Look familiar? Yes. We need to solve it before we run out of... Is that all? Let's be friends, shall we? Evil must be gone. Pretty good crowd today. Keep up! My tempo! My turn! With me out here, how can we lose? are made to be broken. You've outstayed your welcome! <sighs> Customers are always welcome. All the best! This song's just... Let's rock! You have the worst luck running into me! <sighs> Try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! Let's make it quick. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Guards here. Care we should avoid an open conflict. Seize the moment. Evil must be gone. Pretty good crowd today. Turn up the volume. My turn. Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music. Conquer it. Solve. A thousand wonders to raise your spirits. Good omens. Fight us one. Rules are made to be broken. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Mm, I don't see a switch for the gate. Ah, uh, over there! There's a monster in the area. We'll need to deal with it first.
now. Stay right there while I give you a present. Let's make it quick. Just for <laughs> Watch this. Let's go. Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music. Conquer us all! Well, we're in trouble now. All the best! Pretty good crowd today. Turn up the volume! You have the worst luck running into me. With me out here, how can we lose? Let's make it quick. You can't stop. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! A thousand wonders to raise your spirits! Good omens? Rules are made to be broken. Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music. Conquer us all! Always welcome. All the best. Let's rock. Tough luck running into me. <laughs> Here. Let's make it quick. Huh. <laughs> Gotta try hard. 
hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move! Welcome, customers. <laughs> Yourself? You can fight it or rock with it. Let's be friends. Yeah! This song's for you. Let's rock. <laughs> Here. Uh, uh. Try that again. Not my lucky. Day. Pretty good crowd today. <laughs> Watch this awesome move! Told you I could fight! The show must go on. Uh. Dare underestimate what? me. <laughs> Even though it has suffered fragment, enough cat and mouse. Ah, oh, you're such a nuisance. My orders are. You saw us yesterday. How can such a drastic. The Madam Guardy. She summoned me last night. Huh? What a. T Publicly insulting the Supreme. We're wasting our words, March. Oh, well, if there's no. Es <laughs> Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music. Conquer us all! Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! <laughs> Onward! Oh, we're in trouble now. Evil has begun. This song, let's rock! Let's go. A thousand wonders. 
Fighters to raise your good omens! Fight us one! Rules are made to be broken. are always welcome. <laughs> yeah! Pretty good crowd today. <laughs> My turn. Watch this! So, Just a scratch. Back off. I you pay for that? Let's make it quick. <laughs> this song? Let's rock! You're annoying. Let's go. <laughs> Pretty good crowd today. Keep up. My tempo. Stay right there while I give you a present. Let's be friends, shall we? All the best. Right there. Go away! You can't run! Let's make it quick. Take this! <sighs> Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music. Conquer us all! Rules are made to be broken. Just <laughs> back off. Better. This girl's pretty strong. Hey, Don Hung, maybe now's a good time to show off your secret strength. You first. Uh, you're no fun. Intruders, give it up. You will be guaranteed a fair trial. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to ruin the intensity of the moment. One thing to say, Sampo never lets friends who've helped him come to harm. <laughs> I say what I mean, and I mean what I say. They will suffer, sacrifice, and die. What about the Underworlders? They will... You have <laughs> I understand. <sighs> Come on, those toys of yours... Uh, then... Because she's sound asleep. Tell me the truth, Sampo. What am I gonna do about her? You're a bad liar. What? What are you up to? Hey, now, Sampo cost... And another thing! Which is why you've set them loose... Come on, accidents... <sighs> what would Wildfire do with her? All right. I get it. I'm setting off right now. Hey, sleepyhead. How are you feeling? Any aches or pains? Good. You were out for a while. Well, now that you're awake, you should probably try moving your limbs. I'm Natasha, a doctor in the underground. You are a... Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> you're very polite. 
Sampo's gone to clear up a mess of his own making. So I'm looking after you in the meantime. Based on your current state, I don't think there's any... So if you don't mind, Sampo just... T anyway, the epi... Sampo told me. Of course... Oh, please, you needn't worry. You've just been asleep for a while. I barely had to lift a finger. I'm... They've been up for a while already. The young guy with the dark hair left first. He went... Your rowdier friend took off soon after waking up. I imagine she's taking a stroll nearby. As for the girl in the silver main guard uniform... <laughs> I told Sampo to watch. Good question. I've managed to... It's a... grassroot. <laughs> no. I gotta find March 7th and Dan Hung. Where should I start? that if I win hide and seek, you'll tell Big Sister March all the ins and outs. Yep, all the ins and outs. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> it just means you'll tell me all the details. No hiding anything and no telling fibs. <laughs> Hook isn't an overgrounder, you know. Hook never tells fibs. Yeah, never. Well, that's settled then. Okay, let's play. Huh? You! Uh, when did you get here? Uh, th this isn't just hide and seek, okay? Let me explain. It's like this. After I woke up, that doctor said Sampo had taken Don Hong with him. I went around in circles trying to find the blue-haired scoundrel and bumped into these kids. They say they know where he is. But they said I had to join the moles or something if I wanted to find out. And to do that, I had to prove my strength by winning a game of hide-and-seek. Do you get it? You start being so nice. Hey, are you done with your secret talk? The most time is precious. Yeah, precious. Okay, okay, we're done. Pitch Dark Hook the Great. This is my friend. She also wants to join the moles. Can she play too? Um, phew, I guess so. Then you guys are seeking. <laughs> Boss, they don't seem very smart. Why don't we do a practice one first? Hmm, you're right, Julian. Okay, let's do a practice one. I'll hide. You two have to find me. So, you kids think you're better than us, huh? Just you wait and see. It's simple. When you see one of them, you just have to catch them.
not right. That guy's been staring at us this whole time. Hide and seek might have to wait. Locking off. Finally. Hmm. <whistles> My instincts are telling me something's not right with this. That's because I'm tall and old. I'm a grown man. Ask anyone. All right, the jig is up. Your voice. <laughs> but I'm Julian of a thousand faces. No need for the melodrama. Clocking off. You can answer this question. What? But we caught you. What? <sighs> Locking off, finally. Clocking off, finally.
boss of the moles. How can I lose to a bunch of villains? Do your worst. I'm not afraid. What are they feeding you kids down here? I... <sighs> I'm sorry, boss. I failed. Darn! How did you see through Julian's disguise? What villainy is this? <laughs> Those with keen eyes see the dust between the stars. I came up with that, by the way. About time I got some credit for it. So, Pitch Dark Hook the Great. You can tell us now, right? Uh, yes. The boss of the moles is true to her word. Hook saw the blue-haired guy take your dark-haired friend to the fight club. The fight club? You don't talk about it. Is this more... Uh, pitch dark? Hmm. Come with her. Thanks. Oh, that's pitch dark. A club just for fighting. Who knew undergrounders had such brutal hobbies? In fact, it's awesome! They let you take loads of kids take part. We're here! This is it! Uh, Hook's gonna go fight! See you later! Who's in charge here? How can they just let kids attack each other? The moles are in charge! <laughs> um, the moles control everything underground. Ooh, they need one more player there. I, I gotta go! If you ever wanna fight, Come find me. My friend. Brothers and sisters! Are you ready for today's most spectacular, spine-tingling, earth-shattering contest? On one side, recommended by tall, blue, and handsome, the unsmiling, pulverizing power of the new kid on the block, Cole! And his opponent is none other than the given that no other fighter was with. And so, let the semifinals of the 1758th Fighting King Challenge begin! Quick, let's help him! Oh, brothers and sisters, an unexpected turn of events! Two members of the audience have charged into the octagon! It looks like they want to team up with Cold Dragon Young! <laughs> yeah, the first thing we did was go look for you! And now that we found you, we're trying to make sure you don't get your butt- Brothers and sisters, you can feel their passion! The magnetic pull of this electric sport is undeniable! And Cold Dragon Young is signaling that the contest will go ahead! He's just itching to get into it! And so are we. It's the Iron Fists of Cold Dra I can take them on my own, you know. Oh, we need to work on your emotional intelligence. Evil must be gone. Pretty good crowd today. Keep up! My tempo! I told ya I could fight! <sighs> Let's make it quick. Take this! Let's get after him. That guy can't have gotten too far. Let's search nearby.
Hey, hey, it's you! I was just thinking of myself. Save it. You saw us in there and got scared, so you pulled a runner. Me? Scared? Oh, <laughs> my friends, what a... My fine fellow, please don't do that again. Wait a minute, we're not done here. You dragged us to the underground. I have no choice but to take you guys down here. It was to be that as it may. Maybe you've forgotten. <sighs> Don Hung? Well, I'm not certain yet. But there's more to our friend here. You win. I'll help you to the best of my ability, free of... <sighs> All right, to prove my sincerity, I'll introduce you to why... Have a little faith. It's like ice. So, what does Wildfire do all day? Uh, everything. They keep the peace, uphold justice, fight for resources, distribute goods. The sliver of trust. Huh. Where's Joshua? What are those shiny rocks? Ah, this is Geomero, an exothermic ore. The underground and the surface are sealed off from one another, right? Well, only the Geomero transport line is still running. The underground sends ore to the surface, and the surface sends goods to the underground. At least in theory. Most undergrounders are miners, and this is what they mine for a living. You know, if we didn't have Geomero to burn, this world would have frozen to death long ago. All right, let's keep moving. The person I was looking for isn't here. Where have you been? Oh, old Oleg isn't here either? Where is everyone? <laughs> so you're leading us on another wild goose chase? I wouldn't dare! <sighs> Oh, that's the Furnace Core. It's the pillar that connects the underworld and the overworld. People used to travel up and down that thing, but then... Then what? It's a long story. In any case, practically nothing moves up or down anymore. Except you. Oh, come on, my dear fellow. I thought we weren't going to discuss this. Usually always out on patrol here at this time. What's what? Hey, look! Who is that? It looks like she's in trouble. Uh, my friends, don't just stand there. This drama doesn't need any more... Oh? You know, it might be interesting to see you get in trouble. <sighs> We should avoid attracting too much attention. But we can't just leave her. Yeah! Now you're getting it! Let's help her. All right, princess. Let's dispense with the pleasantries. <laughs> Yeah! 
dare attack someone on our turf? Well, how about a few rounds of me? Huh? Uh, spineless. Miss Zila, these vagrants have got some. Uh, shut it, Sampo. I hear a Silvermane guard is. You kidnapped me. <laughs> Do you know what's become of us? The Silvermane guards aren't living the easy life. <laughs> Do you even hear yourself? You protect the underground? Redeploying every guard to the surface? Sealing off the only passageway? The Madam Guardian has her reason. <laughs> Enough talk. You're coming with me. Perfect, Miss Hila. We were just on our way to pay Chief Oleg. Fully booked. Who are they? What good is your name by it? Well, it's like this. The chief's in the market. We're looking for a st- <laughs> <clears throat> I would recommend you not resign. You're right. I don't understand. I'm leaving. Pictures? Take some pictures?
take some pictures? Hey, you came. And that was fast. Didn't I tell you? Long story short, the underground used to have many mines. However, in recent years, some sort of corrosion called the Fragmentum started to spread. It's ruined a lot of mines. The one we're heading into is relatively unaffected. A bunch of vagrants made it their home after their old turf was consumed by the Fragmentum. But with such a large group, it's inevitable that troublemakers will find their way in. They've been stealing. Things are much more serious this time. For two days now, huge clashes have been breaking out between the miners and the vagrants. It isn't pretty. Mines are our lifelines in the underworld. We have to keep providing Geomero to the overworld in exchange for supplies. In order to quell the situation, Chief Oleg brought wildfire into the mine and left me in charge of security for the towns. But the situation in the mine is critical. I have to back him up. The underground used to have many mines. The one we're heading, but with such a large group, things are much more serious this time. Mines are in order to quell the situation. Oh, good. The doctor lady? What's Natasha do? Nat, I didn't think you'd be here. Where's Oleg? Hey, Zila and Sampo's guests. So it looks like you've already met. I haven't seen Oleg. The miners said they saw him take a group further in. Miners and their family members. They want an explanation from the instigators. This area up ahead is a vagrant dwelling, but they've sealed off the entrance. I guess they're afraid that angry miners might try to take revenge. <sighs> I heard that many were injured in the clashes, so I hurried over here to see if I could help. How could the situation here become such a mess? I heard that first mining team found a Geomero vein with incredible deposits. <laughs> Are you serious? That's big news. How come I never heard about it? Well, they weren't in a hurry to make it known. <laughs> Most of the mines have been contaminated by the Fragmentum. Many people are out of work. They were afraid of being overwhelmed if they let the word out. But the vagrants here have keen eyes. They couldn't keep it hidden from them. Some local gangs wanted to profit from the situation, so they blackmailed the mining team for hush money. And that was the final straw. <sighs> I can understand your thinking. It's just that the underground is in difficult straits. And that's how the clash started. Now both sides are dealing with heavy losses. So, are you guys here to help resolve the conflict? They're here because they need a favor from Chief Oleg. I'm escorting them. And seeing as you need that helping hand, it wouldn't be too much to ask you to lend one here first, right? Of course we want to help. We care about other people too, you know. Oh, that's quite nice of you. <laughs> I believe we're dealing with kind-hearted people here, Zila. As you've all seen, the situation down here is, um, strained. If you can, we would really appreciate you helping the people.
giant ore vein. The one they discovered. That must be that person up ahead. Is he asleep? Let's head up and take a look. He might need help. Falling asleep in a place like this. Impressive. Hey, wakey, wakey. You'll get mushrooms growing on your head. Hmm. What? Mushroom bread? I can't see it on the menu. Huh? Miss Sila! Have you got a death wish or something? How can you sleep here? Get back to safety and take shelter. Take shelter? I remember now. These guys came out of nowhere and got into a fight with the mining team. At the time, I was exhausted. I'd hardly run a few feet when one of them caught me. If it weren't for wildfire, they'd have stolen the clothes off my back. Uh, further in? Ah, uh, yeah. It's only thank- It seems like Chief Oleg must be up ahead. Hurry up and get back to safety. Look- Okay. I recognize that woman. That's Elaine from First Mining Team. Quick. Elaine! Are you okay? Are you hurt? Uh, Zila, thank goodness. I I'm fine. Just a couple of sprains. <sighs> You've got good timing. Those vagrants were asking me about the robots, but I don't know anything. Oh, don't you know? The intersection of the Great Mine has been seized by a band of robots. Neither the mining team nor the vagrants can get anywhere near. New challengers enter! About time! Human-only conflicts are so boring. Does anyone know where the robots come from? <sighs> At first, we thought that a collective fault had occurred in the excavation machines. But then we found out that those machines didn't even belong to the mining team. They came out of nowhere and pushed the vagrants and us back. Then they blocked off the only tunnels into the intersection. <sighs> there's no way anyone in the mining team has been- And there's only- Sparog? <sighs> oh, Boss Sparog's robots! Let's just say he's not to be tr No problem. Robots? Aligned against humans? I've never heard of such a thing. Mich is this elevator broken? Why isn't it r responding? Why are you worried about this piece of junk? Do you really want to go down? But oh. Shit. Welcome, customers. A thousand wonders to finest one. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it, or rock with it! <laughs> Pretty good crowd today. Keep up! Tough luck running into me! Let's go! <laughs> Fleeing at the first- Huh? Whoa, whoa! What the heck? Beep, 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 beep! beep. Hey, it talks! And it knows that we aren't from this planet? It doesn't seem to be technology from here. Perhaps it's an antiquity. Beep! 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 A home use object find? Beep! 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 What? Beep! 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 Make it quick. Welcome, customers. Yeah. Try that again. Let's be. Yeah. Pretty good. Let's go. 
Reach the end of the story in your own way. What was that? Welcome, customers. <laughs> this song's for you. Rules are made to be broken. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it, or rock with it! Gotta try hard some- Watch this awesome move! Reach the end of the story in- What's that commotion? It sounds like there's a big argument happening. Let's get closer and take a look. Cowards and bullies. I don't remember you guys acting this... <laughs> this... You're lazy. Oh, where does disgrace... It's a waste of time trying to reason with you. <laughs> Whoa, easy. <laughs> They're getting ready to attack. Those might... You shameless scoundrel. I'm going too. We can't let these... Aha. Uh -huh. And who do we have here? Do you know who's here? Shut it. This isn't your territory. <laughs> I'm in a hurry. I'll take you all in one go. My turn. Let's be friends. Oh, Zila. Thank goodness you came. Nothing but a few knuckleheads. I'm just glad you're okay. Antonia, have you seen Chief Oleg? Oleg? He took a group into the intersection. Said it was to clear off the invading robots. They've been gone for a while now. <laughs> if Wildfire was around, those thugs wouldn't have dared. Seems like the core of this problem is Svarog's robots. Your run-of-the-mill robots don't have a will of their own. Their aim is merely Svarog's aim. The boss. He appeared suddenly after the guards were redeployed and became a major player in the underworld. Svarog claims to be a guardian of humanity. All the ownerless robots obey his commands. They've occupied the Furnace Core hub, and they're not letting anyone get close. Nobody knows why Svarog did any of this. He usually doesn't leave the Furnace Core and interfere unless some kind of disorder breaks out in the Underworld. Wait, a guardian of humanity? That can command robots? I've never heard of anything like... Hmm. Looks like your mighty architects weren't as all-knowing as you thought. Can you two say anything without quarreling? This isn't the time! <sighs> it sounds like there's danger waiting for us in the... Easy for you to say. This isn't. Oh! I'll be on. Antonia. <laughs> sure thing. Is this the right way? It looks like there's a roadblock up ahead. It's completely easier said. Hmm. We need to beep, beep, beep. beep. How come you beep? Come on. Beep. Oh well. I'm... Where's beep. mine car? Beep, 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 beep. beep. Beep, beep, beep. As stated in the terms of service, my search result accuracy and reliability are not guaranteed. For more information, please call in beep, beep, beep. Based on your search history, I recommend the humanoid tactical microwave. Press skip to cancel personalized ads. Beep, beep, beep! Finding will create a calendar reminder for when you want to visit an interastral peace science store. Your most trustworthy companion. Beep, beep, beep! Finding will 
create a calendar reminder for when you want to visit an Interestoral Peace Appliances store. Your most trustworthy companion. Beep, beep, beep. Inter Astral Peace Appliances. Your most trustworthy companion. Beep, beep, beep. As stated in the terms of service, my search result accuracy and reliability are not guaranteed. For more information, please call Inter. Beep, beep, beep. Finding will create a calendar reminder for when you want to visit an interestoral peace appliances store. Beep, beep, beep. As stated in the terms of service, my search result accuracy and reliability are not guaranteed. For more information, please call in beep, beep, beep. Based on your search history, I recommend the Humanoid Tactical Microwave. Press skip to cancel personalized ads. for when you want to visit an Interestoral Peace Appliances store. Beep, beep, beep. Interastral Peace Appliances, your most trustworthy companion. Beep, beep, beep. As stated in the terms of service, my search result accuracy and reliability are not guaranteed. For more information, please call in beep beep beep. Finding will create a calendar reminder for when you want to visit an Interestoral Peace Appliances store. Beep beep beep. Based on your search history, I recommend the Humanoid Tactical Microwave. Press skip to cancel personalized ads. Astral Peace Appliances, your most trustworthy companion. Beep, beep, beep. Based on your search history, I recommend the Humanoid Tactical Microwave. Press skip to cancel personalized ads. Beep, beep, beep. Inter Astral Peace Appliances, your most trustworthy companion. Astral Peace Appliances, your most trustworthy companion. Welcome, customers. <laughs> Pretty good crowd today. Turn it up. Told you I could fight. Yeah! This song's for you. Let's go.
friends. <laughs> Pretty good crowd today. Keep up! Told you I could fight. <laughs> yeah. Let's make it quick. Yeah. <laughs> Try that again. You can't run. Talk. <laughs> this song's for you. <laughs> Told you. Let's go. <laughs> Pretty good crowd today. Turn it up! Told you I could fight. <sighs> Try that again. Let's make it quick. Keep the moment. <laughs> yeah! Let's rock. Let's be friends. <laughs> this song's for you. Keep up! Told you I could fight. <laughs> Keep the moment! Yeah! <laughs> Welcome, customers! <laughs> Pretty good crowd today. Turn it up! Told you I could fight! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Keep the moment! <laughs> yeah! This song Let's rock! My turn! <laughs> Let's be friends! <laughs> Told you I could fight. <sighs> Can we talk? <sighs> yeah. Seize the moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good crowd today. Rules are made to be broken. Let's make it up! Wonders to raise and fight as one. <laughs> this song's for you. Keep up. Told you I could fight. <laughs> yeah. Pretty good. Let's rock. Welcome, customers. <laughs> Told you I could fight. Just a scratch. Yeah. Peace the moment. Yeah. <laughs> Tough luck running into me. Let's be friends. <laughs> this song's for you. Keep up. Told you I could fight. Peace the moment. Pretty good. Let's rock. Welcome, customers. <laughs> this song's for you. Rules are made to be broken. We'll try hard sometime. Watch this awesome move. <laughs> Let's be friends. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it, or rock with it! A thousand wonders to raise you and fight as one! <laughs> <laughs> Time for the make- Turn it up! Let's make it quick. Yeah. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it or rock with it. Tough <laughs> <laughs> luck running in. <laughs> Keep up. Told you 
told you I could fight. <laughs> Here! Let's go. Watch this awesome move! Welcome, customers! Yeah! <laughs> Time for the main- Turn it up! Told you I could fight! Let's make- up. Let's be friends! Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it! Or rock with it! Rules are made to be broken! Wonders to raise and fight as one. <laughs> Keep up. Told you I could fight. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Rules. Are made to be broken. <laughs> Let's rock. Let's make it. Yeah. Welcome, customers. <laughs> Pretty good crowd today. Turn it up. Told you I could fight. <laughs> Watch this awesome move! Let's go! A thousand wonders to raise your spirit and fight as one! Rules are made to be broken. Let's be friends. Yeah. This song's for you. Keep up! Told you I could fight. Moment. Yeah. Pretty good crop. History, I recommend the humanoid tactical microwave. Press skip to cancel personalized ads. <laughs> beep, beep, beep! Finding will create a calendar reminder for when you want to visit an interesting piece appliances store. In the terms of service, my search result accuracy and reliability are not guaranteed. For more information, please call Interastral Peace Appliances. Beep, beep, beep. As stated in the terms of service, my search result accuracy and reliability are not guaranteed. For more information, please call Interastral Peace Appliances.